Good morning anglers. Welcome to your weekly Indian Lake Fishing Report brought to you by Mike's Bait and Tackle Route 235 Lakeview, Ohio. This report is for the week of June 25th with current water temperatures that have dropped drastically at 70 degrees last week. Re last week's report was roughly around 78 degrees. We do have a storm front moving in and it looks like this is gonna be a seven day deal here. Um, I don't know who uh, pissed off mother nature but man oh man. Let's talk about the spillway. With this rain that's moving in, um, if we're gonna get what they're saying we're gonna get, the spillway is gonna be flowing and uh you're gonna want to wait till them water levels start to lower a little bit and you should have a very productive fishing down there at the spillway um other than that you know mixed bags have been reported down there at the spillway still perch perch are being caught the hot bite is still on it's been good i mean not a lot has changed but we are going to be heading into the summer transition to where you're going to want to switch your tactics up, okay? Uh, the perch, you're still catching them on perch rigs and tight line using minnows, night crawlers. You're catching them in the channels and out in the main lake. Let's talk about flatheads. That hot bite's still on. The flatheads should almost be off their uh, spawning beds here pretty quick. There's been a lot of reports with marks all over them from their bedding. Um, they're still using the bigger live baits, tight line and under a, a slip bobber. Channel cats, they're being caught all over the lake, all around the lake, channels, main lake. Um, Channel cats are easy to catch. You know, you can use night crawlers, leeches, liver, under a bobber, or tight line. The white bass, reports are, white bass are still hitting on about anything you can throw at them, whether it be from the bank or trolling. Bluegill. Bluegill are being caught around the islands, along the rocks, and along structure using a small jig under a bobber tipped with a wax worm or a piece of night crawler. The saw guy, that bite is hot. Tip of the day, work the mouth of them channels out by the main lake. Perfect ambush point for bait fish. Set out in the main lake, cast in towards the channel, towards the edges. You have a very successful day. Other than that, they're out on the main lake trolling for them on uh, worm harnesses. They're also catching them on minnows under a bobber. The bass, the bass bite's been hot. Using worms, spinner baits, crank baits. Crank baits seem to be working good for a lot of different things right now. Not only trolling for saw guy, but using a crank bait, a shallow diving crank bait, like a flicker shad, you can work the weed lines and catch saw guy. You can also catch crappie on those uh, micro crankbaits. Work the weed lines, troll. I've seen uh, two plus pounders coming out of that lake right now using a flicker shad or a micro type crankbait. You can also catch a crappie right now using minnows under a bobber, worms, wax worms, Fishing's good, folks. 
So Mike's bait and tackle. He's getting caught up on tying up them jigs. Mike's got everything you need to help make a successful day out on the water. Mike's also getting in uh, some more ACC crappie sticks. So when he gets them in, make sure you get down there and get you some because they won't last long. He sells the heck out of them. Till next week, try to stay out of this rain. If you get a chance, get out there while the pressure's dropping. Get ahead of the storms and safely fish. You'll have a very successful day, but don't play in the lightning. Some of the best fishing days I've ever had have been right ahead of a storm.